I've got a lot of questions lately about funk rhythms and how to incorporate the left hand into them. This is a fun little funk rhythm that I thought would be great on a summer's day. I thought I'd quickly teach you. Here we go. This is a really funky little rhythm and it incorporates nine chords and it incorporates the left hand. The left hand is like the secret weapon in funk music on the organ because it really adds the syncopation and this motion to your rhythms and kind of takes things to the next level. This is what the lick would sound like without the left hand. It's pretty plain, but when we put the left hand in there with some rhythms, ooh, that's funky. Just adds so much more life to the rhythm. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. First of all, this is in the key of C, and I'm using nine chords. The three chords that I'm gonna use are C9, which is E, G, B flat, and D. It's a C9 chord, you can also think of it as three, five, flat seven, nine. And I'm going chromatically. I like, love to do the sidestepping thing in funk where I go down to the chord right below and then the chord right above. So I'm gonna go from a C9 to a B9 and up to a C sharp nine like this. So what you wanna practice is just going from C to B to C back up to C-sharp. And once you've got that under your hands, you should be good to go. What I do is I take the left hand and I put it exactly one octave below, and I play the left hand like this. I don't actually play the chord, I just slightly hit the keys on the organ so it creates a percussive sound like this. You don't wanna go like this, so you can hear the note, just, just like this. So here's, here we go. Here's how I put it together. That's the first part. Little group of two in the left hand. Now I'm going to go up to the C sharp. So start slowly with this. Work at your own speed. And when you're comfortable, you can bring it up to a nice tempo. And make sure that left hand is nice and loose and barely hitting the keys on the organ. And that's how you can get that really funky syncopated sound. And this is just kind of a foundational thing. Once you've got this down, there's all kinds of stuff that you can add into your playing, which will make this unique to your style. For instance, it could be something as simple as doing a little slide off on, an, on a C9 an octave higher like this. <laughs> just something simple like that just takes things to the next level. So here's what it sounds like at speed. There's that little slide on. If you want to do that, it's just a C9 chord and you just come off of it with a thumb slide. Just on your nail. And that's the lick. And now, once you're comfortable with that, you can actually put it through a 12 bar blues and I'll show you how that goes. So we're gonna start with the first part. Now I'm going to take it up to F9 and do the same pattern at F9. Back to C. To G. Then to F. So it's almost between the G and the F we have to divide the whole lick up between two chords. So. Just like that. So there you have it. There's the lick. I hope you have fun with that. I wanted to share something with you for summer, so 
Get your funk on. We'll talk to you soon. Ooh, that's funky.